Captain's Law, star date 1405-2020. Today it's all about Robodoms! Who hasn't dreamt of having a cyborg arm or hand? Hands are those useful things at the end of your arms. Human hands not only do the tasks we need to do, but they help us to communicate with others. We can play musical instruments, we can become skillful in crafts and art, and we use our hands in Sign language. We can write down our thoughts. Some people seem to talk with their hands when they're talking to others. Now, let's investigate. The hand is attached to the arm by the wrist. The hand has 27 bones. There are 8 bones in the wrist and there are 5 bones in the palm which link to the digits, the fingers and the thumb. There are two main sets of muscles and tendons. Flexor muscles bend the fingers and thumb and extensors straighten them out again. Flexors are fastened to the underside of the forearm and extensors are connected to the top of the forearm. As a child, my favorite toy was my extended robot arm. I was not as tall yet and so I definitely needed an extendable arm when I wanted to grab something before my dad did. I miss that cyborg arm. Nowadays we cannot shake hands anymore unless we will create a robot arm. I might even grab an extra coffee. Now finally, let's design our cyborg hand. The materials you need. Glue, straws, preferably paper straws, a pencil, cotton string, scissors, and some cardboard. Step 1. To get the shape of the arm, your hand is placed on the cardboard and traced. You can simply trace your hand or add a few fantasy touches with a bigger, more robotic hand. Below the wrist, continue to cut out a forearm which will attach to your own like a shield. Then cut out of the shape with a pair of scissors. If your carton is thick, please ask an adult to help you. For each finger, three bends are made at the same distance from each other. Mark the joints of the fingers on the cardboard, two joints for the thumb and three for the other fingers. You can use a ruler to fold the joints more easily. Make a hole at the base of the thumb. Cut out a small piece of cardboard that will be glued on your wrist. Cut out some small pieces to make it stronger. Step 4. Cut the straws into 20 1 cm long pieces and 5 longer pieces of about 3 to 4 cm. Glue them onto the cardboard hand. These are placed in between the bends of the cardboard. <laughs> Step 5. Thread a piece of string around a small piece of cotton or wood. Tying a knot and glue it onto your robot hand. Step 6. The threads are placed and pulled through the straws. Step 7. Make 5 knots that will fit around your finger. You have now completed your cardboard cyborg hands. When you're finished, you can put the 
forearm of your robotic hand into your sleeve. You can also put a band around your arm to connect it to your forearm. Hands are for shaking, hands are for sharing, hands are for working, and hands are for caring. Hands can protect and hands can defend. Reach out your hand and make a new friend. Now, prep to grade 3, shine a lamp the wall and use your hand to make shadow pictures. Paint your hand with watercolor and press it onto paper to make a picture. You can give it to your mom or nana to keep and remind her of when you were a little child. And remember, I'll be back. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel Interstellar at Vimeo.com Thanks everyone!